Vision TV was present at Dress for Success, Mind, Body and Soul, sponsored by K&G Fashion Superstore. The event has been going very well. We're very pleased with the turnout. This is our second event this week. We just completed the same event in Atlanta. This is part of a national rollout that we're doing in a number of cities in 2011 and expanding further in 2012. Could you please tell us how did this idea come about and uh, for how long it has been in existence? Okay. It's um, a relatively new idea. Um, we actually thought about it for about six months um, that we wanted to give back to the community. So uh, we selected Baltimore and Atlanta, Georgia as our initial um, cities to launch our program. Um, dress for Success, Mind, Body and Soul and um, it's a way for us as a company to give back to um, the young uh, men in the African American communities and help them um, improve their lives and feel better about themselves and that will uh, lead to more successful um, endeavors in, in all of their life, whether it's school or getting a job or you know working within um, their communities. This empowerment initiative puts the emphasis on African-American men, 35 years and older, as well as male high school and college students. I'm here with Keon Carpenter, the former NFL player. Hi Keon, how are you? I'm doing wonderful today, how are you? Good, thank you. Um, we're happy to see you here participating in this wonderful charity event. Could you tell me what was your personal interest in taking part in it? Well, being as though that I deal with kids on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, trying to help them mentally, physically, spiritually, in every aspect of their life, um, being able to dress well, uh, it just, you know, it, it helps you go along with anything that you're doing. Because the way you're perceived is, you know, sometimes is how we dress. You know, and we have a big thing going on with the kids wearing pants hanging down and not having belts on. So. Um, I want to make it my business to make it sure to them that it's cool to wear suits and you can still you know be respected um, you can still handle your business and if and if this is some the track that you're on you're gonna to have to learn how to start wearing these one day these events were conducted by segmented and marketing services and urban call marketing two national marketing and publishing minority owned companies could you tell us how did you get involved with this organization? I know you are in the beauty industry. Yes, um, we've got a company, Segmented Marketing Services, that works with major corporations across the country to try to connect them in a meaningful way with uh, their consumers, and primarily African American and Hispanic consumers. We've been doing this now for 32 years. Um, we started to talk with an agency that was working with K&G, and that agency told us that K&G was interested in doing some things for their consumers that made sense and that mattered and that could be a benefit to their consumers. And so we put together a program, Dress for Success, Mind, Body and Soul. And the Mind, Body and Soul portion of it is very important. We can't wait till the next event. Keon Carpenter right here, ex-Atlanta Falcon, CEO of the Carpenter's House. And you are watching Vision. 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 Vision TV. a wonderful day at the KG Fashion Superstores with SMSI Marketing. This project is wonderful. It's called Body, Mind and Soul. And you know, speaking of which, let's talk to the customers and hear what they have to say about KG Fashion Superstores and what their opinions are of this program and the products. So come on, let's go talk to some customers. Nice to see you today at KG. Thank you. Let me ask you what brings you in the KG stores today? Economic value. What do you think about the product? Well, the product's outstanding. Does the fabric hold up? Yes, ma'am. I've tried it before and I've always been good to material. Have you heard about the Body, Mind and Soul campaign? Yes, it is a program where KG is partnered with SMSI Marketing mm -hmm. to uh, concentrate on the whole person. 
particularly right now for men. Okay. And they are working on the body uh, and the mind and soul. In fact, today is Good Grooming Day, and with the purchase of your suit, you can also go over to the corner here. They have a haircut guy over there, and they have a manicurist over there, and there's a tailor here. And um, also one of the associates will help you pick out things, but I see that you can do that by yourself. Yeah. So I, need to get, I should have gotten some socks and a hat with this, in other words. Mm -hmm. That would have been my whole soul. And your name is? Clayton Nichols. Nice to meet you, Mr. Nichols. And this yeah. gentleman, was he here with you as yes, well? Yeah. And your name is? Jonathan. Jonathan, nice to meet you. Okay. Well, we're glad you came out. Did you get a paper? Yes, ma'am. They got a 20% off coupon. So, <laughs> all right. Thank you. Nice to see you again. You. All right, guys. Have a good day. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And the proof is in the pudding. You see all these people over here in the line. So they have to be shopping at KG for a reason. I want to introduce you to my guest, Mr. Ray Jenkins, who is the store manager for KG Fashion Superstores in the Baltimore location. Hi, Mr. Jenkins. Nice to see you today. Let's talk about your role at KG Fashion Superstores. Uh, I am the store manager of KG. Uh, we provide quality merchandise, fashionable merchandise at prices well below our competitors and department stores. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you're working on a program that's called Body, Mind, and Soul with SMSI Marketing and KNG Fashion Superstores. What is that program about as far as the KNG side? Uh, it's a program about uh, helping the African American man to dress for success uh, and how to be role models in the community. And when you say role models in the community, you mean as in leaders in their church or in the community? Leaders in their church and their community. And, uh, and when they dress well, they feel well about themselves. Now how do you get these people in the community to participate in your program? By partnering, we do mentoring outside of our store. We uh, speak at uh, schools. Uh, I've done some uh, Dress for Success programs at the local colleges. Uh, and we just reach out on the outside to bring the customers and people in the community into our store so they can find out just what KNG is all about. Okay. Now, I know that KNG is really unique in that you have an on site tailor and you also have tips on how to tie ties. Um, I want to talk to our other guests that are here, Mr. Ray Lucas, who is with 100 Black Men, and Mr. Damon Cooper, who were both also participants in the previous Body, Mind, and Soul workshop that we had at the Reginald Lewis Museum. So nice to see you gentlemen again. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Mr. Lucas, let's talk about how you came to work with K&G in terms of uh, mentorship or partnership in ter for leadership oh, for okay. African American men. Uh, well, I had the opportunity to participate in the panel, as you said. Uh, and um, you know, it, I was really, really excited about the, the body, mind, and soul program because it, it really is representative of the kinds of things that we try to do in the community uh, with the young people that we work with. Uh, uh, our uh, our motto is "What they see is what they'll be," and image is everything. And uh, with uh, working with an organization like K&G that has that focus that's aligned with what we do is an incredible opportunity. And uh, we're excited to, to, to basically look at the possibilities of, of what more we could do that's going to uplift our community. Absolutely. Wonderful. And Mr. Cooper, what are your thoughts on that? Well, it's like, just like Mr. Lucas here, um, I came on board through the Office of the City Council President. I handle all this community outreach and constituent services. As I go out the city every single day, I see the disparity that we face as African American men and, and what we must do to, to begin to engage our young men, our, even our older men. Um, we no longer have the griots that we had of the past, of those who would speak up for our community, those who would push us away from doing the wrong thing. And this is what we're trying to do here today through the help of K&G. I really applaud them on their efforts. They're not just speaking about um, flow through statements or, or uh, uh, prop and law statements. They're talking about how they can help the community. And that's what I really applaud them for. And that's what we're here to do today. Okay, that's great. Um, that's a great point. How do you measure success for a program such as this? It's great. I think it's really a normal program. I believe it is. Is that correct? Yes. How do you measure success for a program such as this? Well, on our end of it, uh, we are um, hoping to make people more aware of KNG. Uh, a lot of people in the community still are not very much familiar with our store. Uh, so we will measure more so on the uh, customer returns that we get uh, in terms of people who come back and visit our store for the first or second time. 
stay tuned when we come back we're going to take a tour of the store and find the designers who are making these clothes that are sold at KNG Fashions and we will be right back. Come along, we're gonna go take a tour of the store with Mr. Jenkins. Now these are separates. Right. Now what's a separate? Show me what, how do you mix and match? How do you it, pick a separate? Separate, it's a, it makes a suit. Mm -hmm. But for the gentleman who's hard to fit, for instance, most guys, uh, especially African American men, we're big in the top, but our waists are small in comparison to the way suits generally will come. So some guys will opt out to buy separates. That way they can buy the pant the exact size waist that they need. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it prevents them from having to have alterations in the waist. For instance, a typical suit will come what's called a six inch drop. If it's a 40 jacket, the pants are 34 in the waist. Mm -hmm. But most of us may be 32 or 33 in the waist, so that 34 is just a little too big for us in the waist. What's the difference in price between a separate and just the whole suit? Because sometimes the separates can be just as pricey, right? Well, generally, no. no? With, with us, the separates will pretty much fall in around the same price range as a suit. For instance, if you buy this as a separate, you're going to pay $129 for it. Okay. okay. The jacket is $99, the slacks are $29. And a typical suit in our store is $129 also. Mm -hmm. This Maybe is a suit by Paul Solaro. It's an athletic fit. This suit typically sells for $129.99. And it's a complete suit with yes. pants and jacket. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is another line. This is called Lineage. This is Lineage. This is a line that we carry. Again, it's pretty much an exclusive at KNG. And this is a line for the uh, the shopper who's more on the budget. These suits range from ninety nine dollars to one twenty nine. Okay. All right. What about ties? Let's take a look at some ties and some shoes. Now we're at the tie wall, Mr. Jenkins. Let's talk about the different types of ties that you have here. The designers and what sticks out, or you think is something that we should really be looking at for. Uh, this season. Okay, as you can see, we carry a vast selection of ties. Probably more ties than anybody in Baltimore City. Uh, if a customer comes into Kanji, they will definitely find a tie to fit their suit. We carry brand names, Nicole Miller. Can we show some of those? Like, uh, yeah, okay, so you got Sean John. Sean John. Nicole Miller. Nicole Luciana Miller. Luciana Rossi. Beverly Hills Polo Club. Mm -hmm. Luciana Rossi. Kind of cold. Let's get some of these other colors here. This is wonderful. Now we're in front of the suits here. We're going to talk a little bit about what kind of suits we have here and what you guys had to offer uh, this season at KNG. Okay, Mr. Jenkins, so let's start here. What kind of suit do we have here? What we have here is the Jones New York Tuxedo, three button. You can find a vast selection of these at KNG. They come three button and two button. Uh, they uh, can sell for $199, which is a typical price of a rental of a tuxedo. So why rent when you can own? Okay. Where you always have a tuxedo, you're ready for every occasion. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we have the bright orange I see you have here. Now, what's this suit? This one is really interesting. Let's talk about that one. This is a three-piece from the Steve Harvey collection. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. 
the Vested Suits are making a comeback. Vested Suits had went a little out of style, but they are making a comeback now. That's part of our Steve Harvey collection, Steve Harvey tie also. Steve Harvey can sell anywhere from 99 to 159. Okay, and we're back now. We're gonna look at the other side and let's talk about the suit that we have here and what collection this is from. This is from our Sean John collection. Three button pinstripe. Uh, again, our consultants have matched it up with a nice pink tie to go along with that. Uh, we also carry Sean John in two button. And now we are in the shoe aisle. Mr. Jenkins, what do you offer in the shoes? All right, some of the brands that we carry here at KG. Kenneth Cole. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, this is Kenneth Cole. Uh huh. Steve Madden. Stacy Adams. Yeah. This is our David Eaton's. This, this is our exotic skin line. Mm -hmm. Mr. Yeah. Jenkins, I just want to say thank you. This has been my thank pleasure you. and wonderful information. And we are back with more from KNG Fashion Superstore's in-store good grooming day event. I'm your host, Janice McLean Deloach, and I have with me Lita Henry, who is also a representative of KNG Fashion Superstores. Hi, Lita. Hi. Lita works in the women's department, which is my favorite department in stores, of course. I'm a woman. So, uh, tell me about this section of the store and why it's interesting and what's wonderful and new. Okay. Well, um, we have a lot of new suits in. Um, we're doing the suit sale for the ladies for Easter. So we do have in a large variety of sizes and then we also have different styles. We have skirt suits, we have pants suits, three-piece suits. We're also carrying spring dresses this year. So we have a beautiful collection of spring dresses from a lot of different designers. Um, we have yellow in, which is really popular this year. We have some halter dresses that are really nice. We're also getting in like some floral print skirts, the broomstick style that flares out. It's really nice for the summer. And um, we also are getting in now a lot of nice sandals. We have so many different styles. Oh my styles. goodness, that's my weakness. <laughs> And brands, yes. A lot now, of I noticed that a lot of these clothes um, are indicative of the community, mm -hmm. and they encompass looks that everybody can wear. Right. Now, is that part of the KNG principle? Or yes, what is it is. Fashion um, principle? Yes, mm -hmm. our fashion principle is to offer um, excellent competitive prices with a large variety of brands and styles that everyone would love. Okay. Well, if you don't mind, I want to take a little mini tour. Sure. Or maybe you can point out some styles and things that sure. people can find at K&G. Sure. All right, we're going to follow you. All right. Okay. Um, I want to go right over to here because okay. this is a popular style. This is what you call a maxi dress, and we're selling these. And it's also a halter, so it's something great that can be used in the summer. This can be used going out. It can be used for many different occasions. Um, as I had stated before, we have a lot of nice spring dresses that have come in. Um, everyone is interested in the floral prints this year. So we have some nice dresses that can be worn. This could be going out to dinner. It could be going to work. We also carry the sweaters and the shrugs that go over the these. Okay. Um, what about shoes? Shoes, oh, sure. Oh, a lot goodness. of nice shoes. Let me now take you down to, to the go department. To the shoe. Right. All right. <laughs>
Right here's a hot little feature table that we have right here. These types of styles are going to be really popular this year. These are worn with some of the maxi dresses that I showed you earlier. We also have that with the animal print, which is really hot. Oh, I love that. I love and that. And then we're also carrying a lot of the, this is uh, what we call the sandal with the cage style, and it also has the heel in. And what so type of designers are making these shoes? Um, we have a lot of different designers. Um, these are from Mia too. Um, mm -hmm. Some of the shoes that I showed you there were from Bamboo. Okay. Um, we also carry um, some really nice sandals here we have. Mm -hmm. These are from Anne Marino, which are very high. Oh, that is so wonderfully gorgeous. <laughs> I love so shoes. Nice. Now, what about bags? Right, so we have these. This is a Steve Madden bag. This is a very nice bag. Comes in a lot of different colors too. We have this in a tan. We also have it in gray and black as well. This is another one of Steve Madden's bags, which is very nice. The flower embellishment on the front. Hot for this year. Wow. And then wow. we have like here, I have a really nice white bag. White is always good for the white parties. Mm -hmm. We try to make which sure we have a lot now. of white parties. They're like party huge. Stuff. It's white parties. I'm like, who thought of that? Who's kind Right. They are really we good have now. Those, and they have small bags with embellishments on them from Steve Madden as well. What about hats? Hats? We have a lot of hats. Let me oh, just show you some different styles. Uh -huh. Okay, these hats can be worn in many different things. Um, I know Preakness is going to be coming up soon, so we do have hot hats. We got a lot of different types of styles. We got like a lot of different ones that you can easily look at. We have some nice hats for the ladies when they're going to church. Goes well with their outfits. I have the white hats again. Feathers and bows. Now, what those these these hats? What are the price ranges that typically they might um, fall in? Our hats are pretty much competitive. They range anywhere from about nineteen ninety nine up to about thirty nine ninety nine okay. for some of the hats. Mm -hmm. Thank you so yeah. much for talking with me today and giving me a mini tour. Good All right. Well, that wraps up our mini tour in the ladies' department. My favorite, of course. And stay tuned. We'll be back with our closing thoughts and the wrap up of our show. Thank you for watching. We are going to talk to Mr. Lafayette Jones, who is the president of SMSI Urban Call Marketing. Hello, Mr. Jones. How are Hi. you? Nice to see you nice again. To see you. My pleasure. Let's talk about your background in SMSI Marketing. We are a 33-year-old group of sister companies, segmented marketing services with Sandra Miller Jones, my mm -hmm. better half, mm -hmm. uh, owns and is CEO of, and the SMSI Urban Call Marketing. Um, we are also a 30-year-old company. And what we do for K&G and others, but in this case, particularly K&G, is we help them understand their consumer market and to reach them. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, they have stores all across America. And right now in Baltimore and Atlanta, we're doing a series of workshops, black male and mm -hmm. workshops that we're holding at the uh, Morehouse College in Atlanta and here in uh, Baltimore at the uh, museum. Reginald Lewis Museum, yeah. I almost forgot it. Mm -hmm. uh, the Reginald C. Lewis Museum, uh, which we're giving seminars. We have great speakers, great partners. Keon Carpenter is a partner of ours, who's a retired uh, NFL football star. We give a lot back to our communities. In this case, KNG is sponsoring a series of workshops, uh, two of those. And this is an in-store grooming event in which we're offering free um, haircuts um, as well as manicures uh, to their customers. And the whole idea is to get people to understand um, how we can help our young men and give us a lot of mentoring, a lot of empowerment. And for a change, it's just about the men. 
Uh, we're involved in the, I, I say that because, okay. they, you know, we love our sisters and our mothers and our aunts, but we as black men have an opportunity to step up to the plate and do our part in the community, which is to be leaders and to help our young men uh, grow in the kind of people we want them to be. So the KNG sponsored program is called uh, Suit Up to Win body, mind, and soul. And I think it's a natural progression because Urban Call is about positive stories and positive people. Let's talk about that program that you're doing with them. This is the first one, right? Yes, this is the first one. This is Urban Call publication. It's 20 pages, four color. Um, it has stories in it about the celebrities, Michael Irvin, Stephen Harvey, um, Blair Underwood and others. Susan Taylor is involved with mentoring one of her stories, um, as well as Denzel Washington. We have ads in it for the respective suit collection, the Steve Harvey collection, and we have a story in it from Mary um, Beth Blake, who's the president of the company, very committed. Uh, she and a fellow um, whose her name is Tim McClure, Right. with the Young Kings, and then we talk about looking great on the first day. Just a series of things that, um, positive attitudes, uh, raising the bar in your, your wardrobe, right. all those kind of things that maybe somehow or another our young men didn't learn on the first pass through. Now you also mentioned that you had Keon Carpenter there and you had some mentors and you also partnering with the churches in the community and yes. the fraternities and uh, fraternities and um, the Masons. Mm -hmm. This is about men. Mm -hmm. So wherever they're men, however they're organized, you know, many black churches, most black churches have a male empowerment program in which they're teaching all kinds of things from good manners to uh, spiritual uh, training, uh, biblical training and so forth. So churches and barber shops and beauty salon. Beauty salons because women go to beauty salons and women have yeah. sons, lots of sons. Yeah. Now Mr. Donnie Williamson heads up the piece relating to the churches. So let's talk a little bit about the program with K&G, SMSI marketing and how it relates to the church. Uh, yes, this program is called the Reward Churches. And uh, in this layer of the program, SMSI has um, a program where we seek African American churches to partner with us to help us generate an audience of young people, as Mr. Jones says, uh, these young people in their young in their ministry, to help them with positive thinking, help them with communication job, interview techniques, anything that's going to um, improve them. And as a result of the work that the churches do to help us get this audience, we have special gifts for the church. We want to honor the church leaders at the same time because they are community leaders and we want to give them the tools to help them in the work that they're already doing. Okay, now I'm going to ask in which ways do you honor the churches and the leaders? And then also, well, how do they figure in with the KNG Superstore, uh, this inaugural program on body, mind, and soul? Well, uh, in our workshops, everyone who comes to the workshops receives a $25 gift certificate to shop at the KNG store. And for the church minister or the pastor, there is a certificate for a suit for the pastor or for whoever oh, he designates as the one to receive that suit. And those are the ones that came to our kickoff breakfast. Yes, absolutely. Yes, all the men were got uh, received a one hundred and fifty dollar gift certificate for suits at K and G. Wow. And mm -hmm. I heard a lot of excitement generated. Yeah, I was at one of those and I saw the young men that were winning and they were just like you could not price the look on their face. And that's just a one time basis. Absolutely. So it's not yes. ongoing it's just the <laughs> yes. first time we did okay. it during the right. uh, okay. kickoff breakfast. Mm -hmm. We also have for each church um, toolkits, 125 toolkits mm -hmm. that will have materials and um, other items that will help them in this effort. Um, and as a result of churches coming into their, their uh, congregations, coming into the store to shop, they are eligible for a 10% discount. Oh, mm -hmm. And in, Ur in the Urban Hall paper, we have a uh, coupon for 20% oh, yeah, off 
When the churches come into KNG to shop, we want to make sure those churches get credit for what they've done to get that 10%. So the KNG will tally or keep a record of the members um, sales and for that from that list and for that amount then the church will receive 10% that will go back to the church. Wow.